I'm going to start with a story before we we we, we get there. Twenty. My wife tells me it's twenty. 15. I always thought it was 2016, but 2015, um, I put myself up under a bit of stress and then I wasn't getting enough rest and exercise too at the same time, both of them. So the body just was not reacting well. So I think one, one of the evenings I wasn't feeling too well. So my wife carried me along with my big sister and I was taken to a hospital in Takradi. Uh, I won't mention the name of the hospital. Now I want you to, I'm, I'm giving a few details so that you understand my side of the story. <laughs> and then maybe you can understand the medical people to their side of the story. And then you decide. So, and it's all about fluffy. Hold on, I'll get to that part. So, what happened was this. Um, I think we got there around, if I'm not exaggerating, we got there around, say, 9.30 or 10 in the evening. 9.30, 10 in the evening. I remember that because... Um, Somebody was brought in shortly after I was taken there. The guy came at 11. Uh, he was on my left-hand side, two beds away. Uh, he died at 2 a.m. So I, I kind of remember that a bit well. So forget about that detail. It's not really important. So it, it was a night. So... Um, Hmm. I mean, I was asked a few questions about my general health. You are getting the same. And by morning, I I saw a doctor. They prescribed something for me. And I was immediately given some form of medication to take. And then they grounded me there for like two days before releasing me and then gave me medication, asked me to take it and then keep reporting myself from time to time. Now, I started developing uh, we something 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 about us you are getting a thing but i know for sure that sulfur is one of the things that we are not supposed to take so things like boofing and stuff like that i've known since i was in tech that i'm not supposed to touch boofing and so i was like ah. by the people why they won't kill me or something like that <laughs> you get it because i'm talking about uh, taking the thing for over six get into eight months of ingesting this thing on a daily basis. Can you imagine? So we scheduled some form of a, a, a review or checkup with the doctor. I went over, I get a little emotional when I talk about this thing, like forgive me. So we scheduled a, a checkup with the doctor and I told the doctor that, ah. but why am I being given medication that contains sulfur? If I'm just a speedy, because you know that we are not supposed to be taking these things, and you guys are aware about these things. Uh, to cut a long story short, all they said was, Oh, sorry. Oh. I'm serious. And then it, it, by by being a bit defensive in the tunnel, um, I don't know, I remember exactly who, but somebody who was part of the medical who team that was taking care of me said ah i also work with school and see what the morning saying with that you know why don't you talk about it hey and all of a sudden it was like some blame shifting me was coming into the thing that hey uh i am old enough to know when i'm being given wrong the medication and i said hey Simon. um so this was my resolve since that day 
I will not disrespect nurses or disrespect pharmacists. I will not disrespect doctors. But I can't take your word for it anymore. Uh, when, 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 when I'm given something, I want to Google it myself. I want to find out. When I come and sit in front of you, I will not be quiet. I will talk. I will tell you that, hey, my guy, <laughs> I'm Jesus PD. I pray you're not giving me anything that will, will harm me. I'm not supposed to be on. I, and it will sound like, yes, you are being all over the place. You are being too known, as we say, we used to say in my primary school, you are getting the thing that I got. <laughs> you are getting the thing. But it will save me from being a guinea pig. Sorry for the use of the, oh, the white pig came up. Oh, that's nice. It will save me from being a guinea pig. And from you just telling me at the end of the day that, oh, I am sorry. Hey, who is that? Somebody says, Makoda, she's your wife. What has God's grace got to do with the wife? Hey, don't even start. Don't even start. What is your name? Theophilus. Theophilus. Some people's wife, they pick the... <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, let's not even discuss that issue, please. I have my wife by grace. I still insist it's by God's grace. You think you think it's by, by right that we are able to get married or by right that God gives you somebody who's able to live with you it's grace, oh, anchor. Jeremy, don't worry. <laughs> so, whoever you are, no, you, me, and you will talk later. It, it is by grace. I'll say it again. It's by grace that I have a wife. Oh. When ya? <laughs> you have the least idea. Let me. Okay, so let me. Let me because you brought it up. Let me say that in passing. I have a studio engineer friend of mine whose wife goes through his phone every evening when he comes back from work and is calling the, the numbers to find out that who did the husband work with and is asking there, and uh, our why, why are they from Mukun? And show the humans in their friend now. And why are you doing this? Them girl or Juana, who came to the studio today? Who did this thing? Please. Erama is my wife, <laughs> and it's by God's grace that I got a woman like her. It's you. Accept it. Asa. Very, very good. <laughs> let us let us jump that one. Let us jump that one. It is well. Hey, Ice Papa, I see you. Is this white bearded coda? Shall I have for do? Have for do.